hello and welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video where we are going to prepare supper we are going to also make snacks that uh, the kids can carry to school i hope you get to get the idea of the kind of snacks you can uh, fix very fast for your children and that uh, and will save you time will also save you some money i hope you get to stick around and enjoy this video up to the end if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos and giving me the full support. If you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for uh, subscribing to my channel and finding me worth of your subscription. If you are watching me for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel and I will really appreciate. Please share the video and let's enjoy uh, this uh, video. In my today's recipe, these are the these are the ingredients that I'm going to use. I have some red onions that I'm going to chop into smaller cubes, and then I'm going to put them on the baking tray, which I've aligned with the baking paper. And then I have also cut uh, the white onions that I've already put them there. I have some garlic that I'm going to also put there. I'm going to use tomatoes as well. I'm going to chop them, put them there, sprinkle some salt, sprinkle some curry powder, put them in the oven to bake for 10 minutes before I can take them out. And then you are, we are going to see the next uh, process. Here I'm chopping fresh uh, coriander and also some uh, spring onions, the white part and also the green part of the spring onions. I also have here some coriander roots which I'm also going to use in making uh, the stew that I want to make. So uh, basically what I always do, I just uh, pound them down like that using my knife. And then I also have turmeric which I'm going to cut into smaller cubes and also use in my stew. To 
today i'm going to make uh, some ugali and i'm going to use millet to make my ugali so after the water has boiled i'm going to mix some flour with the cold water and then i'm going to make like i'm making some porridge and then i'm going to start cooking now the ugali itself i got this millet from the village when i visited uh, my village uh, during the festive uh, season and i was given this millet so i dried it on the sun and took it to the posho mill milled it that is the one that i'm using to make my ugali As the ugali cooks, I'm going to start cooking the stew itself. I'm going to start by adding a oil into my pan. And then I'm going to add the coriander roots. I'm going to let them infuse into the oil before I add the turmeric and the spring onions. I'm going to let them get a touch of golden brown color before I can add any other ingredient. And the other ingredients that I'm going to add here, obviously, I'm going to add the blended uh, mixture. This is coconut cream that I'm adding into the blended uh, mixture. I'm going to mix uh, them well until the ingredients are well incorporated. And then I'm going to add a cup of water. Let them uh, bring them into a uh, boil and then I'm going to test the salt. If it is not enough, I'm going to add. If it is enough, I'm just going to let it be just like that. And we are going to make fish. So after adding the water, I'm going to let it boil, uh, boil just a little bit before I can add in the fish. And I've just added the fish. I'm going to let them uh, simmer for some few minutes before I can serve. I have some skumawiki here that I just want to stir fry them a little bit. I had cut them off camera and I'm using the white onions to fry the skumawiki before I can get to serve them. The dinner is ready and it looks so delicious. So the next thing I'm going to make, I'm going to prepare some snacks and I'm going to make a mini mandazis, the small, small mandazis that uh, are the kids can uh, be able to carry to school as snacks. So I'm going to add some flour into my bowl. I'm going to add some salt. I'm, using, I'm going to use uh, 
milk one packet of milk i'm going to add sugar i'm not measuring but i was sure what uh my with my measurements and then i'm also going to use uh, one egg i'm going to need it i let it rest for around 20 minutes before i can start making them started as a whisper message from my new The next thing I'm making here are some samosa pockets. So I start with the flour. I'm actually using a job flour. That is what was available. So I'm going to need the dough and I'm only going to add oil and salt and use uh, cold water. And I'm going to knead it just a little bit. Let it rest and then I'm going to make the pockets. So I'm going to let it rest and then over here I'm going to make uh, the filling and I'm going to make some minced meat. First of all I'm adding oil into my pan and then I'm going to add the spring onions. I let it uh, let them cook a little bit then I'm going to add in the minced meat. I'm adding salt and the spices that I'm going to use here are just a few. You just see them after uh, the meat is cooked and all the water is dried up. I make small uh, like dough on using my hands. Normally, I start by uh, applying oil on my hands, and then I just make small small balls uh, in the shape of a round ball, and then I'm going to spread them out. After spreading them out, I apply some oil, sprinkle some uh, flour, and then spread them out again. I'm going to put layer of three or four, and then spread them out according to the size of my pan so that I don't get uh, to struggle. Then after that, I'll keep turning them and then check if uh, the, the, the dough can actually come off on their own after they have gotten the heat.
I'm going to add some a uh, few spices and I'm going to use a uh, dried rosemary, dried thyme, dried sage and oregano. I'm also going to add in some cumin powder and some salt and a little bit of spring onion leaves. I'm going to cut them into the shape of a square and then I'm going to shape them into samosa shapes but uh, using uh, the paste that I've made on the other side I'm using just flour and water to actually stick uh, the samosas uh, together. So just uh, follow along and see how I'm going to do it and also you can tell me how you prefer making your samosa pockets. Always use medium uh, heat to make your samosas and they are already uh, done and also the extra ones uh, that I had cut I just uh, made these uh, crepes so that the kids can just uh, munch on them and then uh, the next thing I was going to do now was to make uh, was to make uh, the mini mandazis and I was going to start by spreading them out 
cut a uh, uh, small long stripes and then I uh, start cutting the small uh, mini mandazis and then I'm going just to fry them just like we normally do with mandazi. At this point, I'm going now to add the mini mandazis into the oil and then I'm going to mix them like this uh, to avoid them sticking together. If you've been able to watch uh, the video up to this point, thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much for the support. I really, really do appreciate. So we've come to the end of the video and this is how the mini mandazi turned out. They are actually very, very soft. The, using the eggs the, and the milk really makes them very, very soft. So I'm going to let them cool down and put them in the, in a tight uh, container. I'll let them stay for around four days. They can never go bad. But if you want them to stay for longer, you can put them actually in the fridge and then warm them whenever you want uh, to use them.